very good afternoon dear children welcome you all in your english class today how are you all hope you all are doing well so beta uh, today we are going to start with the second chapter of our supplementary book an alien hand and the name of the chapter is bringing up curry right but before we start with the chapter tell me uh, what does it mean bringing up curry that is the title of this chapter bringing up means curry is the name of an elephant in this chapter fine so you just tell me the meaning of bringing up what does it mean can anyone tell me yes i'm waiting for your answers okay let me tell you bringing up is better to bring someone to maturity right through uh, nurturing care and education etc so who we are bringing here we are bringing up curry an elephant fine so let's start with the chapter here are the key sentences of this chapter curry the name of an elephant right a 5 month old baby elephant lives and grows up with his 9 year old friend and keeper curry doesn't eat much just about 16 kilograms of delicious twigs a day twigs are bit a stem or a stem of a tree or shrub right so how much he eat he eat on the 16 kilograms a day it's not much for an elephant baby right and a playful and sensitive curry saves a boy from drowning so let's find out in our chapter about the adventures of curry so curry the elephant was 5 months old when he was given to me to take care of i was 9 year old who is i here i was 9 year old i is the narrator of this chapter who is narrating this story to us right i was 9 year old and i could reach his back if i stood on tiptoe he seemed to remain that high for nearly 2 years we grew together that is probably why i never found out just how tall he was he lived in a pavilion under a thatched roof what is thatched here beta thatched is a build up of cut grass right so that was thatched roof which rested on thick tree stumps so that it could not fall on when curry bumped against the poles as he moved about so bumped is what a collision right against the poles as he moved about so what the narrator is trying to tell us here he is telling us that curry was 5 months old when he came under the care of the narrator right and the narrator too was a young boy barely 9 years old the narrator could reach curry's back if he stood on his toes and curry remained of the same height for the next two years right both the narrator and the curry grew simultaneously but curry lives in a pavilion under a thatched roof with thick tree stumps to prevent him from falling right and here i have tried to manage some comic pics for you children here i have converted text in the form of a comic so that it becomes very interesting and you will find it very captivating right we'll read the chapter and we'll see these pictures these images related to the chapter fine so see uh, this elephant is curry and here is the narrator right and he is uh, every day he used to take him to the river this we will read in the chapter 
and they both enjoy on uh, coming out of the skin would be shining like enemy right and he would squeal with pleasure as I rubbed water down his back okay. so every morning curry and narrator used to go to the river for a bath this will be in a chapter one of the first thing curry did was to save the life of a boy Curry did not eat much, but he nevertheless needed 40 pounds of twigs a day to chew and play with. Every day I used to take him to the river in the morning for his bath. He would lie down on the sand bank while I rubbed him with the clean sand of the river for an hour. After that he would lie in the water for a long time. On coming out his skin would be shining like ebony and he would squeal, squeal is to cry. We just saw it in the picture. Yes. See this is uh, thatched. Right, under which curry is standing here along with the narrator. With pleasure as I rubbed water down his back, then I would take him by the ear because that is the easiest way to lead an elephant. So what is the easiest way to lead an elephant? To take him by the ear and leave him on the edge of the jungle while I went into the forest to get some delicious twigs. Delicious is tasty, right? And sweet, sweet smelling twigs for, uh, for his dinner. One has to have a very sharp hatchet. Hatchet is what? Eggs, right? A small eggs to cut down these twigs. It takes half an hour to sharpen the hatchet because if a twig is mutilated, an elephant will not touch it. Now what is mutilated here? Mutilated is this figure torn. The elephant will never touch it. Fine. So what was happening here? Let's see in the picture. Yes, I have tried to manage here. So every morning Curry and the narrator used to go to the river for a bath and Curry used to lie down on the sand bank while the narrator used to rub and clean him. Okay, you can see here. After that Curry would spend a long time in the water and when he would come out of it he would be uh, uh, in a very happy state. Right? So here we find out that how they spend. Right here he is pulling him with his ear. Right, we just have read that curry did not eat much, but still he consumed about 40 pounds of twigs every day. Right, and the narrator would leave him on the edge of the jungle while he went to get food for curry. Right here are uh, narrator is trying to sharpen his axe he is cutting twigs for curry look at here in the picture he is sitting about here and he is managing twigs for curry okay. it was not an easy job to get twigs and saplings for of course, it was not at all easy to manage food for curry. The narrator uh, would describe how he had to be very careful about the selection of the twigs as an elephant does not consume mutilated twigs as we had just read and the narrator would spend half an hour to sharpen the hatchet to go out for the sink. So it was not, that's why he is saying that it was not an easy job to get twigs and saplings for curry. I had to climb all kinds of trees to get the most delicate and tender twigs. 
as he was very fond of the young branches of the banyan tree which grows like a cathedral cathedral is the center place of leaves and branches <coughs> i was gathering some one spring day in march when i suddenly heard kari calling to me in the distance as he was still very young the call was more like that of a baby than an elephant i thought somebody was hurting him right so while the narrator was busy in uh, here the narrator is busy in selecting twigs and young branches of the banyan tree he hears curry screaming for help right here in the picture he hears curry screaming for help since curry was really young so the narrator gets worried that somebody was hurting him and the narrator hurried to curry's rescue but he was not there where the narrator left him okay i thought somebody was hurting him so i came down from my tree and ran very fast to the edge of the forest where i had left him but he was nowhere he was not there i looked all over but i could not find him so the the narrator so children the narrator hurried to curry's rescue but yes he was not there where the narrator had left him now i looked all over but i could not find him right i went near the edge of the water and what did he see and i saw a black something struggling above its surface then it rose higher and it was the trunk of my elephant i thought he was drowning i was helpless because i could not jump into the water and save the 400 pounds of him right since he was very much higher than i but i saw his back rise above the water and the moment he caught my eye he began to jump it and struggle up to the show then still then still trumpeting he pushed me into the water and i as i fell into the stream i saw a boy lying flat on the bottom of the river he had not altogether touched bottom but was somewhat afloat i came to the surface of the water to take my breath and there curry was standing who was standing there curry his feet planted in the sand bank and his trunk stretched out like a hand waiting for mine i dived down again and pulled the body of the drowning boy to the surface but not being a good swimmer i could not swim ashore and the slow current was already dragging me down what is ashore here toward the shore so let's check out in a comic image here see as the narrator reached the edge of the water he saw something black right it was struggling something black was struggling there and he saw something black struggling above the surface of the water and soon the narrator felt that curry was drowning in the water what he thought of he felt that curry was drowning in the water the narrator uh, then felt helpless as it was difficult for him to jump into the water and of course to rescue curry as it weighed 400 pounds but that very important the narrator saw Curry emerging from the water. 
coming it pushed the narrator into the stream towards this young boy who lay flat on the bottom of the river say look at the image right here the curry is trying to help him out and this is the boy okay so the narrator seeing the boy somewhat afloat and went back into the water seeing a drift by in the current curry who was usually slow and ponderous suddenly darted down like a hawk and came half way into the water where i saw him stretch out his trunk again i raised up my hand to catch it and it slipped i found myself going under the water again but this time i found that the water was not very deep so i sank to the bottom of the river and doubled my feet under me and then suddenly kicked the river bed and so shot upwards like an arrow in spite of the fact that i was holding the drowning boy with my hand as my body rose above the water i felt a lasso around my neck this frightened me i thought some water animal was going to swallow me i heard curry squealing and i knew it was his trunk about my neck and finally he pulled us both ashore ashore is towards the shore look at here in this comic picture here uh, the narrator is holding the boy in the water and the narrator seeing the boy somewhat afloat went back into the water and curry stood there his feet firmly rooted in the sand and his trunk stretched out towards the narrator as if offering his hand to him right see is stretching his trunk here as if he was offering his hand to the narrator since the narrator was not a good swimmer it was difficult for him to save the boy but curry at that point came halfway into the water and with his trunk tried to pull out the narrator so in this way they saved both curry and the narrator saved the boy right so this was the first part of our chapter later we will do in the next class but before we move on beta you are supposed to answer me based uh, supposed to answer me of some questions based on this chapter right whatever we have just understood based on that okay So here comes your first question. How old were Curry, the elephant, and the narrator? Answer me quickly. You must write down them in your notebook also. Now answer me in the comment box. How old were Curry? the elephant and the narrator how old were the curry and the narrator yes hurry up type your answers good Once more, I am repeating the question: How old were Curry, the elephant, and the narrator? Yes, very good. Curry, the elephant, was 
five months old when he was given to the narrator and our narrator he was nine year old right so this is the answer now move to next question what did curry eat and how much what did curry eat and how much we have just read in our chapter from some equipment children what did curry eat and how much Hurry up, children. Write your answer. What did Curry eat and how much? Hurry up. Write down the answers quickly. These are the very simple questions and easy one, of course. Are you children? Yes. The answer is curry eight. What did curry eat? Curry eight twigs. and how much he did not eat much still he needed 40 pounds of it daily he chewed the twigs and played with them right so he ate twigs he didn't eat much but still how much he needed 40 pounds of it daily right let's move to the next question What did the narrator do with the hatchet? Hatchet, I told you, a small axe. But what did a narrator do with the hatchet? Again, very simple question, beta. Give me your answers in the comment box. Type quickly. Hurry up, children! I want to see how many of you answer correctly. Write down. Hurry up! What did the narrator do with the hatchet? Small X. Yes, the narrator had to bring some delicious twigs for Curry's dinner. Right, he used to cut down the twigs with a very sharp hatchet. So what delicious is here? I told you earlier also, tasty or sweet smell. Right, delicious twigs. So tasty twigs. He was uh, managing for Curry's dinner. Right. And he used to cut down the twigs with a very sharp hatchet. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Questions? Tell me this one. Why did the narrator climb the trees? Why did the narrator climb the trees? Yes, children. Hurry up! Write your answers. Why did the narrator climb the trees? Why did he climb the trees, the narrator? Yes, children. I'm waiting for your answers. 
right quickly. Good. Ready up. Here comes the answer. The narrator had to get twigs for curry. So the most tender and delicious twigs were found on the trees. So that was the reason that he used to climb the trees. Got it? So our question was why did the narrator climb the trees? The narrator had to get twigs for curry and the most tender and delicious twigs were found on the trees. So that was the reason. So he used to climb the trees. Okay. Next question. Did Curry enjoy his morning bath on the river? Yes, children tell me, did Curry enjoy his morning bath on the river? Do you enjoy your morning bath in the morning? Of course, yes. Right? So now tell me the answer of this question. Did Curry enjoy his morning bath on the river? Hiya. Very simple question. Maximum of you know it. Yes. Curry loved to be taken to the river for his bath. He lay down on the sandbank, right? And the narrator rubbed his body with clean sand. Then he washed his body with water. And he used to make sounds joyfully, right? Why? Because he was enjoying his morning bath in the river. Yes. So he loved to be taken to the river for his bath. Right, children? One more question. How much food did curry consume daily? I think this I told you twice in the chapter. How much food did curry consume daily? Answer it quickly children. Let me find out how many of you answer it. Yes. Very good. Good. So it's very simple. Gary did not eat much, but he still consumed about 40 pounds of twigs on a daily basis. How much? 40 pounds of twigs on a daily basis. Right? So here comes the next question. Finding good twigs for curry took a long time. Why? Finding good twigs for curry took a long time. Why? Answer it. Yes, the narrator actually had to work hard to gather soft new twigs for them. He had to climb all kinds of trees, and if the twigs were deformed, Curry refused to eat them because he had a choice. Right? So the narrator had to work hard. To gather soft new twigs for curry, right? Why did the narrator think that curry was in trouble? Yes, answer it. Why did the narrator think that curry was in trouble? Why did the narrator think that curry was in trouble? Come on, answer it, children. Yes. Okay. So the question was, why did the narrator think that curry was in trouble? Actually, the narrator thought that curry was in trouble because 
Curry was really young and his call for help was more like that of a baby crying for help than of a grown up elephant. Right? So again, it was very easy question. Why did Curry push his friend into the street? Why did Curry push his friend into the street? This is your final question, children. Answer it quickly. Why did Curry push his friend into the street? Maria? Why did Curry push his friend into the stream? Yes, Curry pushed his friend. Narrator, right? We are talking about narrator here. So, Curry pushed his friend, the narrator, into the stream. Because a boy was drowning in the water. Curry himself could not save and carry the boy to the shore. Right? Once again, I am repeating this question for you. Hope you understood it. But uh, why did Curry push his friend into the stream? Actually, Curry pushed his friend. Who is his friend? The narrator. Right? So, Curry pushed his friend into the stream because a boy was drawing in the water. Curry himself could not save and carry the boy to the Sure. Right? Hope you understood uh, this part of the chapter, children. Is it clear to all of you? I hope it's clear for all of you. Right? So, thank you, children. We will read the remaining part of this chapter in our next class. Till then you are supposed to read your chapter again and find out if you face any difficulty while reading it, right? We will, dis we will discuss in our next class about this part as well as the remaining part of the chapter, right? Till then children, stay happy, stay healthy and stay home. Take care and have a nice day.